What am I being inspired to do? I don't know. Besides shit in a cup. All right. Uh. <laughs> and we're starting. Professionalism. Uh, so I think I'm going to cut everything out before that and just start with that. You should just cut the entire podcast. <laughs> All right. Well, um, we're back. Uh, it's been three years. It's been about three years since we've done one. And uh, probably should have been longer. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been a little bit longer since we've done one in the same room. Because we did a couple on Google Hangouts and uh, that went fantastically. So um, anyway, uh, I'm Tyler. You say, you say Google Hangouts. Two of us were still in the same room for that oh, hangout. Well, yeah, I know. Um, so, Tyler here. Hi. Hi, it's, and, it's Turkey Burger 50 on YouTube. <laughs> so, speaking of that, um, we uh, one of our members is no longer with us. Um, he yeah, moved actually. on to a better place. Um, so, actually, before we get any further, I would like to play the intro for this week. I, I have been very excited for this for a very long time, let me just say that, uh, for about a week and a half now. Um, I, so, do, I do want to make one small correction. He, he didn't go to a better place. <laughs> he went well, to, he no, went to leave, Indiana. No, 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 no. Leave, <laughs> leave, leave the mystery until after you hear the intro. Okay. All, all right. All right. Um, I should be should have it queued up, and here we go. And that was this week's intro. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you don't know how much fun I was having making that. Because oh, I, I pulled up all of the audio files I could find and just uh, found the most clips that I could take out of context. Most of those actually came from the same episode because I was lazy. <laughs> but uh, but anyway, yeah, Kyle moved to Indiana. Um, so we're, we're here without him. And also, there's another difference. Do you know what it is? We have less hair. Uh, well, that I mean, that's pretty much the same, but thanks, yes. Thanks, genetics. <laughs> thanks, Obama. Um, <laughs> no, there's one other difference. We are still in a basement, but we are in a different basement. Yeah. We've graduated to my basement. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if that's really a graduation, but... Still in, we're now in your mom's basement <laughs> instead of my mom's basement. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, so, um, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> um, so on, uh, I, all right, of the seven topics, we've already blown through two and it's been what? Well, uh, five minutes. It, it, yeah. <laughs> Most so, of which was spent in silence listening to the intro you made. <laughs> <laughs> it, yeah. Well, <laughs> um, so we are coming to you. This will not be uh -huh. what? <laughs> no, don't even go there. Um, Drink every time someone says something inappropriate. 
Um, oh, the hashtag, <laughs> the official Idiot Squad uh, drinking game. Oh, careful, we can't say the official podcast. That's already a thing. They're way bigger than us. It is. They can beat us up and take our money. And uh, They can yeah. make us do push-ups in front of my wife. <laughs> or Joe's wife. Or uh, True. Uh, we'll talk about that. Look, it's a segue. It, it is. Very good. <laughs> uh. um, <laughs> boy, the, the quality of this is just... Uh, you know, that's, off the charts. Next time, next time you you make an of compilation, I don't know if it's best or worst, but an of compilation, you can use that as yeah. the transition noise I, between bits. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I absolutely will do that. Um, uh, so, uh, before we start, there was something I was going to say. What was it? I don't actually remember. Like, I'm looking at the sketch that you had. No, I, I just thought of something. and I Ooh, don't hurt yourself. I know. Uh, thinking is hard sometimes. I'll think of it, maybe. Well, we're ta- you said Kyle has now gone to a better place, and I corrected you and said no, because he went to Indiana. <laughs> right. Um, oh, Kyle, Kyle uh, speaking of Kyle, Kyle is typing uh, on Snapchat. Kyle, if you're the one person who's listening to this, know that I miss you and I hope you're having a good uh, time. He guessed that we were playing Worms. We should do that. Uh, we should, except there's nowhere to sit in there. <laughs> and, that, and that's where my PS3 is. Ah. But uh, anyway. So, yeah, I was... Uh, a lot has happened since the last three years. Um, I would hope so. <laughs> well, let's see. Kyle... Uh, somehow got a girl to look at him for more than two minutes. Kyle, and, uh, Kyle met and en- got engaged with a woman. Uh, I met and broke up with a girl. Yay. Yay. Um, you're here. Yeah. <laughs> you did stuff. Hey, hey, hey. I took care I took care of my awful looking hair. True. That is true. I need to do that. Um, Dude, I would... Uh... Fun story about hair, real quick. So this morning, um, mm-hmm. let me turn this off so you don't need it. Um, yeah. <laughs> this isn't an ASMR. Uh, so this morning, I was, uh, this morning I was taking a shower. Nice. And uh, you, I know, right? you sent me on Snapchat. I know. I, yes, I did. <laughs> Good start um, to my day. Morning. <laughs> um, it really got you up and woke you up. <laughs> so I was in the shower and I... You know, afterwards, you turn the thing off, grab the towel, start drying off. And I, I thought to myself... Well, I was turned on. I, well, I know. But the faucets were turned off. Um, so I was thinking to myself, I wonder if I rinsed my hair. To which I touched my head and felt a large amount of soap. <laughs> I totally forgot. Because normally what I do is I put the shampoo on my hair and then get the body wash, you know, do that. And rinse everything at once. Saves time. Uh, apparently I forgot to rinse my hair. <laughs> so so I was about five seconds away from taking that towel and getting a nice soapy towel. <laughs> but uh, crisis was avoided. I turned the shower back on. <laughs> um, it squirted. And uh, yeah, rinsed my hair, dried my hair. And it's uh, the thin mess that you see before you today. Anyway... That's not, um, that's not true. It is thick on the sides and the back. True. And by and, the back, I mean your And in my ears. Um, <laughs> and nose. So, that's right. So, uh, oh, well, uh, also starting out, you know who we need to do a shout out to? Who? Shout out to Joe. Hey. hey. Cheers. Ting. Clink. Yeah. That, uh, this is realistic sounding. It is. Especially since these are in cans. Um, so... <laughs> So yeah, Joe uh, Joe got married. He got murdered. Nice. Um, I was I was for some reason the best man. Um, <laughs> clearly, you were a man. I I was a man that was there, um, <laughs> and I stood next to him when he got married. And uh, well, I'll I'll tell that story more. Uh, were, you, were you in the dress or? Uh, well, I mean, which which we side? I'm of... supposed to talk about that. Oh. Ugh. I just, I thought it was kind of weird when you're like, Joe got married. I'm like, I mean, you did too. It was was your wedding. You know. As as the beautiful blushing bride. It's guy love. 
between, that's all it is between two guys sick a reference <laughs> that's exactly what well, this that, podcast that is. only took uh about 11 minutes 10 minutes something like that sick and then when we cut it down it'll be like oh this is two minutes in it, yeah uh well the intro is about a minute so it'll be about three minutes in that's it. <laughs> So, uh, Just kidding, we're not going to edit this. So, <laughs> oh, I'm going to need to edit it. Um, so yeah, Joe, his wedding was back in July, um, down in Orland Park, which uh, that was nice for me, nice and convenient, because you know, him and Jen, both, and Colin had to come from St. Louis. Uh, Scott, one of the other groomsmen, lives in, I think, Quincy, and Josh... Um, lives in aurora aurora or naperville somewhere down there so we had a nice easy drive um nice. which was a, which was a very good thing on sunday um we'll talk about that i'm glad that his wedding was convenient for you it, it was you know they, they really <laughs> took my needs into account um, that they worked their special so, day around your schedule so <laughs> so the the hotel was it was a quality inn which was fine um you know some of those can be kind of hit or miss sometimes but so the so the quality isn't consistent the it was not that's ironic um but it, it was fine um no um so we we got there you really are gonna finish that whole thing that's, <laughs> that's plan a um okay uh we are pre-gaming for something which we will get into later this is the sound of uh this is the sound of a pump being primed. <laughs> uh, just going to let that go. Uh, anyway, so we got there on Friday. Uh, Friday night we had the rehearsal dinner, which was at this local kind of like sports bar place. Nothing fancy. Um, <laughs> the Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> Buffalo Wild Wings. Wild Wings. It's uh, the German version. Why did you pronounce one W and then the you know other what? one I, you went with the V? I, you know what? Shut up. Um, All right. <laughs> no, it was a... I forget the name of it, but it was a, a local place down there in one of the Palos's. I don't remember if it was Palos Heights or Palos Hills or West Palos, born and raised. I don't know. I have spent most of my days. <laughs> I like the regret in your voice as you were saying that. <laughs> so like, great, another reference, just what this podcast needs. <laughs> but I can't not make I this. I know. <laughs> um... So yeah, we, we went to that, and there was a lot of food, which, uh, you know, I was there for. Absolutely. And uh, our tab was comped, which I was definitely there for, but I was also driving, so I couldn't really do much. Um, so, yeah, Friday, so at the, not really much happened at the rehearsal dinner, we just, like, kind of met who, who we would be walking with, and ate a bunch, and talked to each other, and stuff like that, just kind of hung out a little bit. So afterwards... There was a ton of extra pizza and I think it was masticholi, some kind of pasta. And uh, I think it was Joe's mom that brought us like a couple containers and she's like, you guys want to bring some food back with you? And, you know, being us, we're like, uh, yeah, uh, we'll be eating this later in the hotel room. Because we... Uh, my gut sticks out farther than my pecs. You think I don't want to take food home with me? <laughs> yeah. And it was really good food, too. Um, so we ended up bringing home, I think six like containers four of them had pizza and two of them were full of masticholi so we went back to joe's room that night and played cards against humanity because nice. he apparently it's a thing with weddings that you're not allowed to see the bride like for a full day before i had never heard that i thought it was day of I, well i thought it was you couldn't just couldn't see her in the dress i didn't know it was that whole day right which is well because i i thought i think it's like I think that's the same thing. Where it's like that you think like the bride spends all day getting ready. Yeah. I, well, I, I've never been married, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I mean, it took me a while to get into the dress, but once I did, you know. Um, did he see you beforehand? <laughs> he did. Oh, he. Oh, he did. That's, that explains why he's <laughs> not here now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, well, I only say that because the morning of the wedding. You know, the, the wedding itself wasn't until, I think, 3 or 4 o'clock or 5 or whatever it was. I don't know. I I just knew I had to be there at 3.30. That was all I knew. And, Joe, uh, 3.30, eat food. <laughs> yeah. So, the morning of, they actually kicked Joe out of the breakfast area because Jen wanted to get food. That's 
I know. That's he said that. I'm like, you're kidding me. That's stupid. Why is she eating before her wedding? That's <laughs> yeah. terrible. She yeah, should well. want to look as good in the dress as possible. She needs to not eat for a whole month well, ahead I, of time. I mean, I starvation isn't good, kids. Yeah, but it's good if you want to look good in your wedding dress. Fair enough. You would know. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, it's so stupid that he couldn't see her when you were the one getting married. <laughs> I know. I know. But anyway. So, <laughs> so yeah, that night we played Cards Against Humanity, I don't know, till like 11.30 or midnight, whatever. Mad so lads. my, like I said, I was best man. So I, I knew ahead of time that I needed to come up with some kind of a, a toast. And I'm like, I don't want to, first of all, I'm only going to know like four people here, including Joe and Jen. Oh, okay. Actually, if we include the groomsmen, I was going to know five people there. Have um, you, have and it, you met Jen ahead of time? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I've still um, never met her. I met her once up here and then at least once down there. Hmm. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if Joe can continue to be married to her. I have not given my blessing yet. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's been almost two months now, so should probably get on that. Listen, they're still in the honeymoon phase. Once once that wears off, then I can come in and give my judgment. I want to give them their nice time together before I come in and say, <laughs> maybe not. Fair enough. Um, wow, that was a terrible field goal. That went in? Well, Sorry. <laughs> we're, we're watching TV. That, that's kind of how the television works. It looks strange to us, but to them, it probably looks uh, better. Yeah, that... Anyway... So, so I knew I needed to come up with some sort of toast. And I'm like, I, I don't want to make anything long, because I know no one's really going to listen to it anyway. So It's not length that matters. Uh, it's girth. That's not what I've heard. It's girth. Um, <laughs> girth Brooks. Oh, wow. Can you hear us coming out the rails? <laughs> chugga. <laughs> chugga, chugga, chugga. <laughs> um, boy, that looks fun on the waveform. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> we're already looking at waveforms too. Um, so I like that this podcast has been going on for like 15 minutes and the amount of uh, words I, that I've said is like still in the double digits. I know. Well, you're doing the Ray theory of recording. Say nothing and do less. <laughs> <laughs> Promise nothing. Deliver less. Um, so I, I thought, I thought of something. This was like months ahead of time. Like, I don't know, maybe you. Whenever I found out that I was best man, and I, I told it to him because I, I didn't want to do it without approval first. And I, he, his response to me was, "If you don't do it, we're not friends anymore." So, I'm glad that he set that level of expectation. I know. So, my plan, I actually could have gotten visi- uh, visible aids, visual aids. It's in there, but I hope uh, you didn't get visible AIDS. Uh, <laughs> that would be kind of a doubter on the wedding night. Yeah, um, surprise! You can look, see it's, my it's HIV. a future frat boy. Um, that does not work in an audio. <laughs> yeah. So, how many fingers am I holding up? Ha ha ha! How about me? Shot. <laughs> Shot. <laughs> Shot. Um. Anyway, but, so my my plan was I was going to get a toaster, okay? <laughs> Put it under the table. I was going to stand up and say, I'm going to make a toast. Pull the toaster out, put it on the table, put a piece of bread in it, and push it down. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> so, what? So again, I, and I couldn't find my toaster for my apartment because it's in one of these many boxes that's in this room. How long have you been graduated and you still have not gone through your stuff? Uh, this is actually less than it used to be. We've consolidated boxes. That's not what I. It's not the question that I asked. Uh, I graduated. Graduated. Gra- uh, graduated. Um, I'm masturbated. Uh, two years ago, in July. In July. Hmm. Well, I started saying so, last. And so, then... so a little over two years ago. Yeah. And you still have an entire basement full of stuff. And once again, we've gone through it and consolidated. It used to be worse. Um, it used to take up the living room, too. Um, so, anyway, I like I said, I couldn't find my toaster. So I was just going to say forget it. You know, uh, not worry about it. 
Someone said I should steal the one from the breakfast area, and I said, that's probably not a good idea since it's in direct eyesight of the front desk and probably a camera. So what I ended up doing was the morning of me and the other groomsmen, we ended up going to Goodwill because I said, they're going to have one cheaper than anywhere. If not, I'll go to Walmart and buy one for like 10 bucks, whatever. I got a toaster for two bucks. Hell yeah. Now... The reason I bring this story up, first of all, because, you know, I'm clearly hilarious. Second of all, absolutely. while we were at Goodwill, Josh, one of the other groomsmen, in the, we had a group chat on Facebook going, and months ago, he asked Joe if he could have a pimp cup. And <laughs> so... What the hell is a pimp cup? It's, um, if you look up a picture of Lil John. Like, the the cup he has that's gold with, like, jewels on it. Ask and answer. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's basically, just picture a little John. Um, so, we were we were looking in Goodwill to see what kind of stuff they had. You know, we, weren't, we didn't think they were going to have a pimp cup, but, you know, if they had something you know, funny or whatever. A little ball on a budget. <laughs> ball on a budget. We're just a ball. Um, <laughs> so we're a baller. Not a baller, a baller. Anyway, so instead of a cup, we found something and we instantly had to have it. Now, I'll pull a picture of it up here for you. And I'll, if I make this a video, I'll put it on the video too. But uh, what we found was actually a picture. Um, I'm not sure why anyone would ever get this as a picture, but uh, there it is. So, we bought this. It is a... Someone told me it's a cockatiel. I thought it looked like a chicken, but... It, that's a pigeon. It is not a pigeon. That's a pigeon that went Super it Saiyan. It is not a pigeon. That's a, pi that's a Super Saiyan pigeon wearing anyway, a bow tie. Whatever. Well, the bow tie came later. So, <laughs> so, we saw that there, and we're like, we have to have this. And at some point, we all have to drink out of it. So, that was the plan. We bought it. It was like 3 or $4, something like that. So, we went back to the hotel. Or, actually, first we went to Walmart, and I had to get bread. So, I got a cheap loaf of bread for my uh, incredibly hilarious joke. And, uh, and then we went back to the hotel. And while we were at Walmart, we said, well, we all have ties. It needs a tie. So we went, we went to the pet section for the collars for cats. So what that is, is a collar that's supposed to be for a cat that we cut down to be the right length. So it now has a bow tie. And also its name is Durl. Durl. D-U-H-R-Y-L. Durl, Durl, whatever. Durl. It became the official mascot of the groomsmen. So... Uh, fast forward, we all, you know, the, the whole afternoon passed pretty fast because everything goes really fast on the actual day. So we all got ready, got over there. Uh, Durrell is looking fine as ever. He was cleaned out. So we, you know, we said <laughs> whatever alcohol we put in there is going to kill anything, but still we should clean it out. And it was pretty, it had some dust in there. So it was a good thing we did. So, so we get to the wedding place and we had some time to kill because we had to get there early, obviously. But we, the groomsmen, really didn't have much to do. So we kind of just stood around and talked to each other. <laughs> and uh, so the wedding wedding actual time came. Um, so the way it was supposed to work was the, you know, the ring bearer comes up and gives me the ring. And then when the, the uh, whatever he's called, the guy presiding, officiating, whatever, he asks for the rings and then I give it to him. Well, wow. I know, I mean, right? You could have just handed off the ring, but... <laughs> so, yeah. So, that was what was supposed to happen. Well, <laughs> the ring bearer, I don't know how old he was. He was one of Jen's family, I think. And uh, he really wanted to hold on to the ring. So, <laughs> so uh, he came up and, and stood there, and I was kind of like, you know... Mm -hmm, right here you know <laughs> and uh finally it became pretty clear that he wasn't going to hand it to me so i was just like okay i'll stand here 
that's cool. And uh, so I literally just stood there. <laughs> and it was kind of cool, you know. So I'm like, it's kind of cool. Holding up the wedding and the ceremony and the proceedings. Um, so, yeah, he just told the ring bearer just to stand next to me. And then they he just took the ring straight from him. So, it was, uh, first of all, it was the, I have been two, two weddings now and in one. This was the greatest wedding I've ever been to. And I feel fairly confident in saying it was the greatest ceremony in the history of weddings. I have to sneeze. <coughs> nice. Um, <coughs> the entire ceremony lasted about 10 minutes. Get in, walk in. Do the vows, do you, do you, do the rings, kiss, get out. It was beautiful. Hell yeah. So the unfortunate part of that was the ceremony was at, I think it was at five. And then the reception started at seven. So now we had an hour and a half to kill. <laughs> so, which some of that was like doing pictures and all of that stupid stuff. But, and it was really hot outside. So we were just dying in our suits because they don't breathe at all. They were kind of like our tuxes from high school, where it's just the air sits in them. <laughs> the hot um, air. The hot, any, moist air. Yeah, so uh, what was nice, though, in that time, the there was an open bar, but it wasn't open yet. So I actually ended up knowing one other person there. It was, uh, it was a friend of a girl I went out with in high school that her and Joe became friends, and she was there. So I knew her. But luckily, she came equipped. Why don't you drop their name? Uh, <laughs> it's actually uh, Katie. It's not the same one, though. First and last. <laughs> Her name is Katie. She works for the dick. Never mind. Um, the dick? No. Wow. Well, I mean. It's good to have your priorities. More on more on that later. Uh, oh. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So, she actually came equipped, though. She had three flasks of rum. Wow. Uh, yeah. Wow. Two in her purse and one actually like, kind of like a gun, like strapped to her leg. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So that was nice because we were at least able to do that <laughs> before we started. Hell yeah. And uh, so the, the open bar opened up and of course, you know, everyone goes there at once. Oh, so, no. but uh, as groomsmen, we got to cut the line. So that was pretty cool. Nice. Um, so fast forward the the dinner. Oh, so when we first got there, let me back up a little bit. So my whole toaster idea hinged on the fact that there was going to be an outlet nearby. And, you know, the, we have no idea what the room's going to look like or anything until we get there. So while Joe's doing, like, saying hi to everyone, whatever, and the groomsmen were just killing time, we're like, let's go investigate. So it just so happened that right behind Joe, who was on my right, there was an outlet. That's amazing. Now, the problem with that was the table was a little bit away from the wall, so people would have room to walk behind. So I had to have Colin hold the toaster while it was on. <laughs> so That's I, beautiful. I told him, don't hold the bottom. <laughs> it's it's going to get hot. Hold the side. The plastic is fine. Don't hold the bottom. So um, luckily the bridesmaid, the maid of honor, went first. And... Uh, I was really happy about that because she was really worried about having to follow me because the groomsmen knew, but no one else did except for Joe and maybe <laughs> Jen. I, I told no one. They just knew I had props. That was it. <laughs> so we, we did it and it ended up, we when we first got back to the hotel, I timed to see how long a cycle on it would be. And I timed my speech. You know, I said, you know, the usual, you know, I... I Never seen him as happy, blah, 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 whatever. Congrats to the happy couple. The usual lies. It, yeah, pretty much. The same thing that's in every wedding toast. And I timed it so that it popped up right when I finished. And then I took the piece of bread out and took a bite out of it. <laughs> and the funny thing is, it was actually pretty good toast. Um, and Joe ate the other piece. Well, and you only put it in there for a minute and a half. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, that uh, that was my crowning moment. Um, and, uh, yeah, that was a fun night. So during dinner, the bar closed again for whatever reason. I don't know why. That's dumb. But, uh, we were still able to get stuff through our server. 
So we have Durrell sitting on the table. And our waitress comes up and is like, you guys need anything? And I forget if it was Scott or Josh. Because um, Colin was next to me, and then it was Scott, and then Josh was down at the end. And I, one of them said, we have an odd request. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, good. So, <laughs> so she's like, okay. And he said, do you think you can get the bartender to fill this up with ja- with uh, rum and coke. Because that was what most of us have been drinking all night. And she's like, let me see what I can do. <laughs> so we see her go up to the bar. And I think they were getting ready to open it back up. So there was someone behind there. So we see her. You know, we're all watching like, yeah. let's watch see what happens. <laughs> and uh, so we see her say something to the bartender. The bartender just kind of laughs and takes it. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, That's everyone a- from Joe down just goes... Yeah! <laughs> so she comes and we we gave the bartenders a really good tip for that i would hope so. we we i think we all did uh five dollars so because she she came back with it and we're like have you ever had a request that weird she's like well that definitely was unique <laughs> so the reason i don't know how much i drank is because we kept refilling that and filling our cups from that so Jesus I lost Christ. count at about 12 rum and cokes, two <laughs> screwdrivers, a blue moon, and a Bud Light. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I, I don't remember. I do remember most of the wedding, though. Um, I remember dancing the Cupid Shuffle and remember the room was spinning. Which, that dance is very hard to do when you're drunk, <laughs> let me just say. It's hard to follow um, directions when you're drunk. Yeah. And um, I remember... When when we got Durrell, we said, you've got to do the chicken dance with him. Because it was kind of Josh's thing, because he was the one that wanted the pimp cup. So, luckily, they played the chicken dance pretty early. And, like, Joe was, I think, out on the dance floor, and Scott was talking to someone or something. So, me and Josh were the only two at the head table. So, you know, the first few notes of the chicken dance are pretty distinguishable. It's the... Da, 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 da. So me and Josh just get up, look at each other, and go, "Yes!" <laughs> in the in the best drunken tone that you can manage. Oh man, I I remember at the end of the night, I I knew that it was getting close to the end, so I needed to switch to something to kind of sober up a little bit. Which I was I was actually okay until I did the screwdrivers at the end. That was a mistake. <laughs> you uh, don't say. Yeah. Uh, so. I, I switched to a blue moon, and I don't know how I was able to say blue moon, because I, I remember the whole time when I was walking up there, I was, like, practicing it in my head, and I'm like, there's no way I'm going to get through this. <laughs> so you you were drunk to the point of practicing what you were going to say to well, the bartender I, I was to drunk. not get cut off. I was, oh, they weren't cutting anyone off. <laughs> if they were, I would have been done long before that. Um no, I, I was drunk to the point that I went to the bathroom and I didn't remember walking to the bathroom. <laughs> how, did I, how did I get here? It's a good thing I'm peeing now. Yeah. So, <laughs> this is a rental talk. It's a good thing I made it. Good thing I'm renting this. Uh, <laughs> so, anyway, yeah. Um, but that was very fun. Colin and his date actually drove us back. Um And then we ended up going to a few people's rooms and, like, going from... It was kind of one of those things where everyone went to one room and then when that person said they were tired, we went to their next room and just kept going from room to room while we were sobering up. And, uh, don't eat that whistle. Speaking of sobering up, guess what I've not been doing the entire time you've been telling this story? Drinking? Or paying attention? Yes. Actually, no, that's not true. It's just, like, as you've been telling the story, I've been, like, I've been invested and I've been listening. <laughs> I know. But the uh, the entire uh, fifth of UV blue that I've uh, ingested the entire time is has been kicking in steadily. Nice. So I'm really excited um, for any bits that you've got. Oh, we, up. we've got some very good bits. <laughs> because holy shit, I'm not prepared. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got two oh. bits that we're going to go over. Um, oh, good. And uh, anyway, that that was pretty much the end of the wedding story. Uh, Sunday was terrible. I was so hungover. I, <laughs> I fell asleep. Well, I'm not sure. Let me rephrase that. I'm not sure I was actually hungover. Mm-hmm. So I fell asleep about 1 o'clock that morning. 
And wow, I woke up. Mad lad. I woke up about I don't know three thirty or something because I I slept horrible, and I really had to go to the bathroom. So I I got up, went in there, and getting up from the bathroom or getting up from the toilet was kind of an adventure. Basically, I almost ate it. Um, so I'm pretty sure I was still drunk. <laughs> so at that point, I, I didn't feel good. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to stay up. I, there's no point in me trying to go back to sleep. So I, I went down in the morning, got some coffee. And I was like, I'm really not looking forward to this drive back home. And then you mixed it with some Baileys. And you're like, oh, shit. This, is, <laughs> this was a mistake. You can't get hungover if you don't stop drinking. Hair of the dog. That's right. Um, speaking of that, um, I am going to finish my drink here in a minute. Um, speaking of that, would you like any UV blue before I finish the whole <laughs> no, thing? No, that's all right. All right. I'm sticking with this. Um, I, I actually kind of want to remember tonight. Um, what do you mean tonight? It's like, it's like noon. <laughs> I think. I don't know. I uh, it's one o'clock. Uh, it's, oh, it's 12.59, so it's still technically noon. Well, okay. Anyway. So, uh, so yeah, that was Joe's wedding weekend. It was a lot of fun. Um, I, 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 I told him I've never been more excited for something as an adult as I was when I got my credit card and put my hotel room on my credit card. I could pay for it on my debit card. I just wanted to get the cash back on my credit card. Absolutely. Um, I, so, yeah, that was... That was fun. That was a fun weekend. And uh, congrats to Jen and Joe. Um, yeah. Yeah. I wish I could have gone. but Yeah, it was, a, it was a really small... Like I said, I only knew the groomsmen and one other person. It was really small. Um, and I, I guess a lot of the spaces were taken up by parents. Like, people that they invited and stuff. How many parents do they have? Well, I mean... It's like... Everyone's it, got at least two. It could be like a maximum of four. Yeah, but I guess they invited a bunch of people, and they were. Joe said that they were paying for it, so they didn't really want to oh, go against right. it. That, <laughs> so, I'll take that. <laughs> so anyway, moving on, um, we are gonna do a little bit here. Um, oh, we're gonna try something new. Um, this is the one that you actually know because it's on the sheet right there. Um, so what I did was I went on Ask Reddit, and I picked a few. And by a few, I mean ten questions. Um, that is more than a few. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't mean to cut you off, because I know you just introduced a segment. But remind me that I need to bring up the argument that I had about a few versus a couple versus some versus many. If I many. had a pen, I would tell you to write it down. I, I meant to get a pen. At this point. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I can barely read. So. As is. What? <laughs> well, and I'm drunk. True. <laughs> Shout out to beer. Shout out to Veer. Um, I so I, I went to Ask Reddit. And uh, by the way, we are drinking uh, 4204 Main Street uh, Blood Orange Rattler, which uh, shout out to Stupid Colin for getting it for me. Shout um, out to Stupid Colin. I hope to actually meet you someday. Um, if you ever meet Colin, you have to yell at him. It's tradition. Sounds like it. The first time I met him... Um, I believe I have to order a pizza? It, that too, yes. Um, the first time I met him, I was walking with Joe... And him and some of his friends were across the street. And Joe, like, yelled or something or waved at him. And I just yelled, shut up! And that was pretty much how everyone meets him for the first time. All right. Um, So, anyway, I went to to Ask Reddit and got a few questions. And uh, we're going to discuss. Oh, allow um, me to get comfortable. um, Yes. Uh, Put your pants back on. No. Okay. So, number one. Um, I'm trying to remember my answer to this one because I'll go after you. But sure, the first question was, "What subculture do you not understand the appeal of?" And I am going to finish my drink here All as right. you talk. Well, I have to warm up my vocal cords because you've been talking for the past twenty minutes uninterrupted as I've been watching this football game that I don't give a shit about. <clears throat> what subculture do I not give a shit about? Um, Do you not understand the appeal of it? Well, I'm saying... Yeah. Um, hmm. <laughs> well, I know it might be a soft answer, but I'm going to have to go with furries. I really don't understand the appeal. It's True. just a, It's just a giant, heavy, hot suit that you wear. True. 
because you don't identify as being a human being, to my understanding. <laughs> but you do identify to being some kind of animal. Uh. I don't know. It just, I, I can't. I know that it's not supposed to be a sex thing. But it is. But, like, yeah, it's like if the culture, like, the popular conception has been so polluted with that image that I, 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 I can't separate it. I'm sorry. Yeah. I also can't separate it because that's how you pronounce the word. Um, yeah, that's a good answer. Boy, um, you know, like, an entire bottle of UV blue in and you're asking me to improv when I haven't done this for three years. Like, <laughs> well, realistically, it can't be any worse than you were. It's a good thing that we haven't been guaranteeing quality. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, the day that we guarantee quality is the day we shut down because no one's expecting it. That's not true. The day that we uh. guarantee quality is the day that I quit my job because this is what I'm going to be doing full time. <laughs> true. Jesus um, Christ! Like, like how how bad could we have this? Like, I'm sick. I'm drunk. I gave so, up drinking a while back, and now I'm doing it again. <laughs> yep. Yep. I know the feeling. What? Um, like, I, I, I never, I never was a really heavy drinker, and like. Ever since I got a, uh, ever since I started working full time and I accepted the fact that maybe I should be an adult at some point, I just kind of like, nah. <laughs> like I went, I went from rarely drinking to never drinking. Yeah. And now I've down an entire bottle of UV blue. <laughs> so this is going to be a fun end of the podcast, isn't it? I'm about to fall over. <laughs> and I'm sitting down. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh. and, and we ate too. Yeah. That. Anyway. So much for that. <laughs> so, uh, for me, I... <laughs> uh, that was the sound of Mason dying in the background. Um, I'm alive. <laughs> barely. So, my answer for that, I actually don't remember my original answer, but uh, I'm going to go with, I think, hipsters. Because why? Like, why do you... I'm trying to think of the right words. Like, why do you have to go to that extreme of a length to make yourself different? Like, why? What is the appeal in that? Like, I think, all right, I agree with that. I, I feel the same way about like this is one of the questions that I talk with my girlfriend about about like. Shout so, out to Hannah. Shout out to Hannah, dude. I love her. She's great. Um. I guess one of the questions that we have is like, well, shit, like if we were, if anything were to ever happen to us, like it would suck to try to go back to dating because like none of us have like, neither of us have really good experience with it. Tell me about it. (laughs) (laughs) I know the feeling. It's like, it's like, I've just been with one person for so long and it's like, I don't. Like, I know it's bad, but, like, I don't want to put in effort. Yep. Like... I know the... <laughs> right here. <laughs> Hello. But it, but it's also... It's, like, the double-edged sword for me is, like, I... When I started dating her, like, I had kind of accepted, like, you know what? I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna like me for who I am. And then she... When I met her, like, I was already in the middle of doing that. So it's, like... Yeah. Well, if anything were ever to happen, it'd be like, I don't know what I could do, because, like, I was already being me, and I don't want to put in the effort to try and <laughs> try to appear better than I am if anything were to ever happen. Like, yeah. Yeah. I, I couldn't do it. That makes sense. All right. Um, let's move on. Um, Before the I, feelings start this... coming out. <laughs> you know, when I... No. All right, emotions. Let's go. Yeah. This is emotions. Because... The podcast. <laughs> this has gone from a hilarious. Okay. This is... <laughs> it's gone from a podcast. To... This, this has gone from two dudes talking in a room to two dudes talking in a room about their feelings. E- yeah, we're not. Legit. We're not going there. Um, Let's stay okay. being jaded. Now, this question was very obvious to me, but I'm interested to see what you say. What song will forever be associated with a movie or a scene for you? Ooh. I'm going to have to go with When I See You Again from Fast and Furious. Ooh. All right. Granted, I've never seen a Fast and Furious movie, <laughs> but I know that Paul Walker died yeah. and they played that song. Okay. Um, my my answer for this um, was actually Bohemian Rhapsody from the beginning of Wayne's World. Nice. Um, 
just because of what that that clip did for that song. Because that really is why that song is popular in the U.S. Um, if you read up on it. Like, uh, so yeah, that was, that was mine. Um, all right, moving on. Number three. Um, this one, again, I was just interested to see if you would say the same thing that I did. Uh-huh. Um, what was, in quotes, the incident at your school? Uh, there was one thing that came to mind. <sighs> Actually, there were a couple things that came to mind, but yeah, I was gonna say I can't narrow it down to one. It was like I think it was like our junior year that ever like there was like a fight every week in the cafeteria, and that became huge like a huge drama. That was not the same thing that I came up with. What did you come up with? So the thing I came up with, I don't remember if it was junior or senior year, when the um, the one chemistry teacher. Put the sodium in the sink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was going to be my second answer. It was the fact that, like, for a full month, like, once a week, like, full for two months, like, once a week, we had to have a fire drill. Because the fucking chemistry department kept setting up the fire alarm and everyone had to evacuate the building. I, I don't know why. I, that one just stuck way out to me. Um, so, I, I was, like I said, I was interested to see if we came up with the same thing. Was um, it? Was it also, did it also include uh, huddling around a certain unnamed physics teacher who was rather <laughs> large in body proportions because we said, well, clearly he is a furnace and he creates warmth because of his mass. Oh, that was on the coldest day of the year, too. Yeah. I remember that now. <laughs> we all huddled around him. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, let's see. We're going to skip that one. Um, what's the worst game ever to be popular um, or I, you can replace that with which game do you think is the worst to ever be popular? Which game is the worst to ever be popular? I'm going to go with Never Have I Ever. See, and I was going to say Fortnite. Oh, that's a better answer. <laughs> Way to yeah. make me look bad. Yeah, just because, <laughs> like... It's irritating. It's everywhere. Like these, I have, you know, when I'm teaching tennis... I have, like, six-year-old kids that are, like, doing the stupid dance. I'm like, come on. The thing that bothers me about Fortnite dances is they're all based on, like, old hip-hop references. Right. That no one understands. And right. I think they're just from Fortnite. And, like, Fortnite makes me a little effort to make it be like, oh, no, we're actually referencing this or this or this. Like, Yeah. They gotta know. Um, like, it's gotten to the point where, like, uh, I teach a high school drumline. Mm-hmm. And we're actually, uh, <laughs> we're, we're putting in shooting. Uh, no, it's the uh, it's where you kick your leg and you pump your fist. At kicking. The <laughs> yeah, this is the part where we start kicking. Yeah, like it's gotten to that point where like that's infiltrating our show. I'm like, listen, I don't care what you guys do, but as long as you all do it together, it's fine. <laughs> I'm oh. trying to find a good point where we can t pose to assert dominance because we're <laughs> all about the memes at this point. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Um. Okay. So at least we agree on that, because I've never understood Fortnite. Wow, alcohol. Anyway. <laughs> um, who is your favorite YouTuber and why? You can do this uh, same, either one of two ways, either of all time or currently. I think it might be the same answer, but uh, a current answer is my favorite channel is uh, The Switcher. Okay. They're just a Let's Play channel of a bunch of dudes from Canada. A. Hey. It's two best friends play or super best friends play. Absolutely love it. It's the only thing that I've kept up on. Like, I gave up on Phil DeFranco. I gave up on, like, Rooster Teeth. And Phil play. Frank, Is he still a thing? I don't know. <laughs> I've, I've been checked out for, like, ever since I graduated college. Yeah. Um, yes, I graduated. Take that. Yeah. Um, for me, uh, same with me. I've kind of stopped watching all those. Um, I did watch... I've, I did keep up with Game Grumps for a while because I love the su- the su- uh, Mario yes. Maker yeah, videos, mm-hmm. um, but I kind of fell off with them. I I have recently started going back and watching compilations though. Um, All right, I'm glad to hear that because I'm also in the same thing. Like, <laughs> like I I don't regularly keep up with anything, so whenever I see something on Reddit that takes off, I'm like, huh, maybe I should keep up with that. But yeah. Like, Best of videos are a godsend yep. because it's like, oh, good, I can just filter out everything I didn't watch to just the best bits. Yep. Um, so yeah, that. Uh, I... But as far as like actual YouTubers, um, 
I like Air Force Proud 95. (laughs) (laughs) Is he still alive? Awesome Um, Man 92. (laughs) I hate that guy. Um, Turkey Burger 50. (laughs) Yes. On YouTube. I love that guy. (laughs) Um, Me too. Once again, that is Turkey Burger 50. On YouTube. Um, Shout out to Pokemon Red. What was he doing the walkthrough of? I don't fucking... Hey, are we ever going to do our best luck? I I thought about it, but the problem is we need a way to record it. Because we could... We uh, have a way to record it. We have a laptop. Like, literally, it's just going to yeah. be a matter of finding the right emulator to download. And well, we could just do, um, we could do, put it into Pokemon Stadium, play it through the N64. We could try to do that. Anyway, we're I getting would, ahead of ourselves. I would have to find my uh, capture card device on when? Otto, and then I would have to figure out, like, hey, does this actually work with old systems? <laughs> yeah. Because I'm pretty sure it does, but I've never done it. Yeah. I don't think you ever did it with the PS4. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh. Ouch. 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 Um, okay. So, oh, Air Force Proud 95, um, Being the Elite, which we will get to, is a great YouTube channel. Um, and even if you don't like wrestling, it's entertaining. Um. What about Botchamania? Botchamania is good. The problem with Botchamania on YouTube is he can't do things full screen. Oh. So, I usually go to Botchamania.com and watch it through, like, I think he puts them on Vimeo and Daily Motion and yeah, whatever. Vimeo, there's no laws. It's like the old website. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, Shit. That's probably my, my top few. Alcohol. <laughs> um, I entered the eyes closed phase where my stomach hurts and I can't look because the room is spinning. Huh. Fun. I wonder how this shows up on the waveform. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Uh, we'll skip ahead another one because um, we still got a couple things to get to. Um, Where are we at in the recording process? Um, I'll tell you in about seven minutes. Oh. <laughs> Is it going to be one hour? One hour! <laughs> um, so, yeah. The last question of Ask Reddit. Click was, here uh, to see where that reference came from. I don't remember which video it's from. Well, I guess you're going to find out, aren't you? <laughs> because I made it a thing. Um, what's the dumbest thing you've ever had an argument with someone about? Wow. I, I have an answer right away for this one. Go ahead. I once had a guy on Twitter that... This was probably six years ago or something like that. He uh, once told oh, me... Oh, so I was involved. <laughs> <laughs> no, you were not. Really? He once told me that I I was feeling sick. I had a cold or something. And I, I said something about it on Twitter. And he said, just stop talking about it and you'll feel better. And I was like, okay, well, he thinks, you know, if, if I don't think about it, then it'll, you know, I won't notice it or whatever. It's kind of like breathing. You don't notice you're doing it until someone mentions it. Um, I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm glad I have something to think about when I'm um, part of this in general. <laughs> yeah. So, I was like, haha, yeah, whatever. And he goes, no, seriously, if you don't think about it, you'll get better. And I'm like... It's a really conservative viewpoint. Well, what? <laughs> like, does this guy actually think... Hashtag GOP. If... No, it was the opposite. Hashtag dicks in all out. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Hashtag dicks out, all in. There we go. Um, which we'll get to. Um, oh, this can only end this well. This became a therapy session. <laughs> How does that make you feel? Um, I feel like my mom doesn't respect me. <laughs> well, most people don't. Mostly because she flat out said, I disrespect you. <laughs> um, anyway. So, so um, what was I saying? I don't even know. You're talking Who about cares? some dude on Twitter who said, don't oh, yeah. think about it. Like, every time I was sick or something, he would come back. He's like, well, just don't think about it. You'll be fine. Mm-hmm. Finally, I'm like, dude, just shut up and leave me alone. That's, if that's I wanna... not true. It's if the other person doesn't think about it, they'll be fine. <laughs> if they yeah. don't concern themselves, they're okay. You can't disregard being sick. It's not something that goes so, on. Yeah. So it, it's, it's a tie between that and the guy who once told me, only tweet important things because his timeline was filled up with enough time wasting. If he wasn't, if you were, listen, Twitter is not for tweeting important things. I know. That's and the this, whole point of the website. This was back 
when I tweeted a lot, because like these days I really don't tweet all that much, but I back then I was I on got there. My notifications set on for you. <laughs> yeah, you're um, honored. You're like one of the only people. Um. Yeah. So. Is that why you always like all my stuff? Hell yeah, man. <laughs> it's because I can see the notification I, pop up on my lock screen, and if I think it's funny, I'm like, haha, and then I like it. I feel special now. Or retweet it. I wish you could do both. It's true. Um, so, anyway, yeah. The, uh, that or the guy that told me to only tweet important things, and I'm like, dude, you control your own timeline. If you don't like me, unfollow it. That's how and he's it like, have a nice day, and I was like, you too. And that was it. Well so, anyway. All right. So, uh, moving forward, um, tonight, we are going to All In. Yeah. Um, you say tonight. It's like... Well, that's it. In an hour and a half. <laughs> doors doors open at 3.30. We're leaving at 2.30. Um, it is the biggest independent wrestling show, basically, ever. Um, so, the it's the first time anyone... Other than WWE has sold out more than 10,000 seats. It's sold out? It's sold out. It's sold out in 29 minutes. Oh, shit. Um, and it's the first time it's happened since the 90s, I think. Um, and the last company to do it was WCW, which is owned by WWE. So it's kind of the same thing. But uh, it's going to be a good show. Um, there are going to be a bunch of wrestlers that I've never heard of. Well... There will be some that you probably have at least heard of, at least. Um, and we'll... Be surprised. In the time between ne- when we finish this and when we leave, I'm going to try and bring you up to speed. And I'm going to try to sober up a little bit. <laughs> you want something else to drink? Like water or... Water would be great. Okay. We'll um, about that once the podcast is over. Okay. Um, actually, if you can kill... About a minute on the microphone, I can get you a bottle of water. I can't process that. Okay. Well, I'm trusting you, and I know I'm going to regret this, but you've got a minute. Go! (laughs) A minute of silence. Okay. Well, I'm going to recount for you the story of the veteran who got his penis replaced from surgery. So, a couple days ago, I got this text message from from my Destiny Raid group. Uh, The supple, yet firm, full-bodied, strapping young men of Destiny 2. You might be surprised to learn that I named that myself. So the question came in as follows. All right, quick poll. Recently, a wounded veteran received the first successful penis transplant in history. If said veteran jerks off, is that gay? Because it's not his penis. I responded, does he enjoy it? Got it back. Irrelevant. He can enjoy it regardless of sexual orientation. Also, the wounded veteran story is fact. It happened in March, evidently. So I responded, Ah, I see you subscribe to the a hole is a hole philosophy. A hole is a hole. (laughs) (laughs) No matter where it goes. (laughs) Response to that was, No, but the thing here is that it's not his penis, but it is attached to his body. So is his, but it's not at the same time. My response. Oh. <laughs> is the transplant from a corpse? This could venture into necrophilia. Philia. Necrophilia. And I'm necrophilia. And <laughs> I just got response that. is, yes, comma, deceased donor. LOL. Me. Did the donor will his penis to the transplant before his death? The dick could be haunted if not. Spooky, scary ghost dick. Science has gone too far. (laughs) Response to that. Spooky cock sounds catchier. My response. Spookock followed by spookaki. That's what it's... That's what a ghoul bukaki is called. Uh. Response is LMAO. I continue. Hey, girl. (laughs) Continuing. Hey, girl. You want to try this goat? You want to try this spooky dick? It puts the super in supernatural. This was responded by the picture of that, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The word for the dead stuffed lemur monkey looking thing where it's like, what the fuck? Taxidermy? Yeah, that's it. To which I responded with a meme of Confucius saying, key is stored in the balls. And that's (laughs) all I got. I filled up my minute. Okay. 
Very good. Yeah. And I got you two bottles of water. Thank you. I needed this. Um, I believe the male just arrived. What about the female? She comes later. <sighs> hey -oh! I mean, she can't, but... Oh. Anyway. Um, okay. So, we are going to go straight into our next bit, because like I said, All In is tonight. Can you hold this for about a minute? Uh, are you not going to be able to hold it for about a minute? Nope. All right. Well, um, so we're Chop. we're just gonna talk a little closer into the mic here. And by we, you mean you? Uh, yes. Um, so we're just gonna. Well, uh, Mason will be right back. Um, <laughs> welcome back. I washed my hands with soap. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Very good. Um, I'm afraid my parents don't respect me. <laughs> they don't. Can't imagine. Neither do I. Shut up. <laughs> All right. So because All In is tonight, and I know that... Uh, Dicks out for All you, In. That's right. <laughs> Uh, and all the different variations of that hashtag. Um, so I thought what we should do is go through a few a few wrestlers. Um, sure. So what we're going to do is a game I lovingly titled Wrestler or Obscure Superhero. <laughs> so I will give you... Most of these are nicknames, um, but some of them are their actual names. Or their actual gimmick names. All, right. um, all you have to do is tell me if it's a wrestler or a superhero. Uh -huh. Alright? Sure. Now, um, I will tell you that I found these superhero names by Googling obscure superheroes. Perfect. I have never heard of any of these. <laughs> Except for the rest. Well, the wrestlers I've heard of. but I would hope so. Okay. Are you ready? I don't think I could be any less ready. Good. Perfect. So, number one is easy. Well, it's easy if you... <laughs> Don't say that. Wait until I answer to say that. <laughs> it, it, it's easy if you follow wrestling. Number one is Nature Boy. I'm going to have to go with wrestler. That is correct. Ric Flair. Woo! Um, I, can't, I can't believe we did that in sync. I know. That was kind of impressive. I'm incapable of timing anything right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, number two. The Cleaner. I'm going to have to also go with wrestling. The correct Kenny Omega, yes. who you will be seeing tonight. Wait, really? Yeah. I'm gonna see, am I going to be seeing the Golden Lovers or half of the Golden uh, Lovers? All of them. Yes. Not together. Oh. Um, I like that. Next up is Peacemaker. I'm going to have to go with Superhero on this one. You are three for three. Yes. <laughs> so good at this one. <laughs> um... Okay, uh, Shark Boy. Hmm. Is Lava Girl included? No. Well, then I'm gonna have to go with Wrestler. Four for four. Fuck yes! <laughs> I'm so good at this. Uh, okay. Uh, Black Condor. Superhero. Okay. <laughs> five for five. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Is he is he the condor, but he's black? Uh, pretty much, yes. And All right. by the way, don't ask me about the superheroes because I know absolutely nothing about them. That's okay, <laughs> me um, Rainmaker. I'm gonna have to go with wrestler on this one. You are correct, Kazuchika, wow. Kazuchika Okada, who you will also be seeing tonight. I love Japanese people. Um, okay. Not to be racist. Now this one is gonna sound like a trick, and it isn't. Captain New Japan. Well, I wish you hadn't said that up front. But because you did, I'm going to have to go with Superhero. And you are wrong. What? <laughs> it is a wrestler. I can't believe you lied to me like it, this. It was the uh, the same guy. Well, I figured since it had New Japan in the name, you were going to figure it was a wrestler. No, I know New Japan is a wrestling thing, but because you said it was a trick, I was like... Well, if well it's I a said trick, no. Then it has to be I, a superhero. I didn't say it was going to be a trick. I said it was going to sound like a trick. That's even worse. <laughs> and I was right. Um, You're an asshole. The, <laughs> okay. I hate you. Um, 
Yeah, the guy who played Captain New Japan was the same guy who played Bone Soldier, who was the original... <laughs> Bone Soldier. Well... <laughs> nice. He was... So on the Bullet Club shirts, you know, there's the, the skull and the crossbones. I can see that. Um, on the shirt originally, that you're wearing right now. That, well, this is a Young Buck shirt, but yes. Whatever. Um, yeah, so they tried to make a character after that, and it was not good. Oh, no. <laughs> Instead of making the shirt about the character, um, <laughs> they made the character about the shirt. Okay. For this one, Stardust. Oh, it's a wrestler. Actually, it is both. Fucking bullshit. <laughs> you didn't tell me that there's going to be two um, questions here. Yeah, Stardust. Uh, Except for the one we were just talking Stardust about. Stardust was Cody Rhodes, who you will also be seeing tonight. Ooh. Uh, he is going against Nick Aldis for the NWA Heavyweight title wait the nwa yep not that one. Oh, <laughs> i'm familiar with national N- wrestling alliance oh i'm familiar with an nwa not yes uh not that one no i'm familiar with the nwa not <laughs> an and they're straight out of compton <laughs> and that's all we're gonna say straight out of contracts <laughs> um kid eternity Ooh. wrestler Obscure superhero. Ah, oh, damn it. Um, That's good, though. That's a good name. All right. Um, Mr. Wrestling 3. It seems obvious, so I'm going to go with superhero. Ah, I got you again. Damn it. It's a wrestler. <laughs> it, uh, it was one of the gimmicks of Steve Carino. When he was in Ring of Honor, he was the color guy. And whenever the... <laughs> the uh, his whole bit was that he was a big fan of the Young Bucks. Whenever they did a super kick, he would yell, Super kick! Nice. We'll go over a video later. Right. Um, but that's Steve Carino, who works for WWE now. Um, all right. I like that I have to watch film for a thing I'm going to see. Yeah. Well, it, it makes, it'll makes it help the stuff tonight make more sense. Fair enough. Um, okay. Bad Luck Fale. Wrestler? Yes. Yes. He works for New Japan. He is one of the original Bullet Club members. Um, the Vigilante. Oh. Ooh. They go with both. Uh, it may be a superhero, but I have it as a wrestler. <laughs> ah, damn. That was one of the nicknames uh, for Sting. Um, the musical artist? No. The, oh. The, the, the <laughs> shop. Um, okay. Uh, I'm going to send you a message in a bottle. <laughs> so I've heard. Um, next up, there's two more. The Dazzler. Uh, that's a superhero. Yes, it is. Unfortunately. Um, I know all about it. She wore roller skates and she has a like bright white outfit. <laughs> I don't want to know why you know that. I don't, um, I don't remember why I know that. I think <laughs> I was reading an article about some of the worst superheroes of all time. Hey, that's kind of where I found these. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah. Uh, last up. The hero of the disco era. I, I have a feeling you'll enjoy the name of this one. Um, and I want to see if the first thing you say is the first thing that I thought of. <laughs> Curry Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say superhero, but the answer I want to give us both. <laughs> it is a wrestler. Ah, <laughs> shit! <laughs> it was one of the gimmicks um, Christopher Daniels had when he was in TNA. Uh, Christopher Daniels, who you will see tonight, he is wrestling Stephen Amell, who's an actor of some kind. Um, but anyway, <laughs> so, you did better on that than I thought you would. <laughs> Yeah, I was six for six at some point before I started to get everything wrong. Yeah, uh, well, I mean, except for the dazzler, <laughs> which makes me. Which makes you me knew that sad. right away. <laughs> well, yeah, because I read an article about it. It's like it was. This was a product of the disco era, and we're very sorry about it. You it's like she could shoot light from her fingertips or something <laughs> like that. You you know what I just realized? What? We could absolutely play Wii Sports. That oh. would be an adventure. Well, I'm, I'm all for <laughs> all it. Right. If you've got the Wii Are setup. you all in? I, I'm all in, dicks out. Yeah, the Wii setup. Hashtag all in, dicks out, play the Wii. All right, so, yeah, uh, we should probably wrap it up. 
Um, so yeah, we're going to All In tonight. Um, should be fun. Should should okay, be very you fun. Keep saying tonight. The doors. Well, it is tonight. The doors open. Doors open at three. The pre-show starts at five. The main show starts at six. That oh, is tonight. That's fair enough. I thought. Yeah, it was, eat it. I thought it was the doors open at two thirty, and then it. No, we're like leaving it's... at two thirty. Oh. We're leaving at two thirty to be there by three. I should probably drink some water between now and then. Well, I got you two bottles that are still sitting on the table. Yeah, but my eyes are closed. <laughs> Pour them in there. Um, so Keep anyway, my eyes. that's not how I drink. My it. eyes, oh my eyes, my leg, bald, bald, <laughs> bald. All right, we're falling off the rails even more than we were. So uh, we can't fall off the rails. Oh, like we were off. The rails. <laughs> okay, this is a fitting way to end. I remember what I was gonna say an hour ago. <laughs> what were you gonna say? An <laughs> to hour start ago? out. So wait, what were you gonna say a time ago? That was one hour. One hour. Um, I was also going to say this is a return to how this whole thing actually started. Because the first episode of the podcast was just me and you. Yeah. Kyle oh. did not come in until episode two. It was? Yeah. We recorded one on this computer. And the reason I remember that was because the audio was terrible. Because I didn't know the microphone on this computer was terrible. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it was just me and you. And then week two was the first week with Kyle. Huh. So anyway, um, rest in peace, Kyle. Um, we'll probably forget you immediately, but I could never forget Kyle. I've tried. Kyle is <laughs> no. Kyle gave me an invitation to his wedding. I'm super happy about. That. What? Did you not get one? No. Well, now it's awkward. <laughs> All right. Huh. No, he gave me he gave me an invitation to his wedding, so I've got like a little less than a year to actually like. Get in shape to fit into a tuxedo. Huh. I spent the first month doing nothing. <laughs> hey, well, I spent the first I mean, month well, making it worse. Why? Why should the first month be any different than the rest of the time, right? Oh shit! All right. Well, anyway. Um, so yeah, this this was definitely an episode. This was fun. It was. Please look uh, forward to the other content we're going to be having uh, in another three years. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> when we get the time to do this. Yeah. Um, Maybe some secret projects that we're not going to tell you about in case they don't happen. Or in case we can't think of any. Also true. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, this has been episode ten. We finally made it to double digits. So we so we do not want to go with some of the bits that I suggested. Well, we are also at an hour and fifteen minutes. Wow, that's. I mean, that's, okay, that's before editing. Not a lot of that's getting cut out, though. That's true. Also, we're talking about what we're going to do while we're recording. Well, one of the segments... We can, we'll do, okay, yeah, go ahead with what you were going to say. No, that might be, that might just be a surprise in case we keep doing this at a more regular interval. (laughs) Which we should. We should. Um, With maybe less alcohol. (laughs) Oh, next time. A little less. <laughs> not too much less, but enough that I'm not, like, le- laying on the couch. You're because you're probably going to get something to drink tonight, too, me. aren't you? Probably not. Uh, I don't want to spend ten bucks okay, on a beer. Okay, that is fair. That is true. I have an entire six-pack that didn't touch because I downed an entire thing of you blue. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, this blue. has been an episode. Uh, it sure has. It'll be out eventually. I don't know. I know I dated by saying that... Uh, but all in this today. That we recorded this on September 1st. <laughs> yeah. So it'll be out probably sometime next week. Uh, whenever I get around to editing. But uh, anyway, thanks for listening, watching, whatever. All three of us. If Kyle can find the time to watch it. Yeah. And just to make sure that we, uh, just to make sure that we date this appropriately. It is September 1st. So I'm going to play my favorite song. Oh, you remembered? Yeah. It took me a lot of brain power to remember this. We probably should cut it before 30 seconds go by, otherwise we're going to get constantly. Well, I can pitch shift it. <laughs> yeah, put it in the G minor chord. Oh, G minor? It's kind of super cool. Oh! oh. <laughs> shout, out to, shout out to my podcast for just a second. <laughs> It is the one that I made before the yeah. 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 <laughs> I think that's my dream. I don't know, I think I still have to explain for my dream. Anyway, alright, that's the end of this episode. Prepare your anger. <laughs> oh, you have to end it. Yeah. Oh, you have to end it. Yeah.
Fall. 